and uh, we were fortunate to win that battle. Uh, the war's not over, but <laughs> that's one little you, battle. Um, didn't you, boy, that was so well put. And Jeff, um, didn't you offer also to be a uh, consultant, a uh, voluntary consultant to the oh, municipality of Garfield? Sure, there was a few of us. Uh, uh, f I am also a, a dog trainer. I specialize in, in uh, pit bulls and uh, behavior modification and aggression. Uh, and I did offer the city of Garfield uh, my services free of charge to help uh, mm. not just for them to understand BSL and dog behavior and, and all the things that go along with that, but also for pet owner education. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, really education is the key to any proactive measure, okay? And, uh, you know, especially when it comes to animal issues okay. and mm -hmm. dog bites and things. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've turned on the news, and it's been a long time since I watched the news because mm -hmm. I try not to, but uh, mm -hmm. I've, had, I've seen stories. Uh, uh, pit bull owner distraught after attack, okay, and that's the headline. And then you go on, and the the owner's dog bit somebody, okay. It wasn't the pit bull; it was their other dog. They happened to own a pit bull, so the headline was misconstrued. Yes. Because As they so often are. It's newsworthy, yeah. and I won't even get into the fact that there are probably thirty or forty different breeds of dogs that could be misidentified mm -hmm. as pit bull type dogs, you know, mm -hmm. but. Um, uh, I think it was a great win in Garfield as far as us opposing BSL yes, yes, yes. because people don't understand, you know, and, and you may or may not like pit bulls out there and that's fine, but you have to understand if they impose legislation on one breed, okay, it can transcend any breed, okay? Uh, you know, pugs have killed children, mm. you know, little tiny pugs have killed infants, okay? Mm. I mean, it, it, does that mean that pugs should be outlawed? Then you it know? could get to a size? consideration could, exactly okay we you know you could talk about pit bulls which comprises a variety of dogs you have and these the dogs I'm going to list I love them all okay but Rottweilers German Shepherds Dobermans Connie Corsos Presa Canarios okay uh, Argentine Dogos these are all large powerful dogs Labrador Retrievers are large powerful dogs and if you impose legislation on one species or one breed you have the possibility of, of that transcending down through many different avenues okay. and you know what it is and, and again we're talking a lot about you know outreach and uh, community it's it's do it's like doggy racism you know and uh, <laughs> yeah. it, it really a is bigotry, I mean yeah. there's sure. nothing worse than walking down the street with your dog and people actually avoiding you yeah. you know like yeah. there's something wrong with you yeah. you know it's um, so true Jeff and um, just a little quick follow-up story too um, one of the dogs I pulled from a shelter count um, he had been a guard dog and um, he, his time was up, he was going down that, that day, and uh, I got him out, fortunately, but uh, when I took him home and had him in a huge big kennel, he was ballistic. I mean, it was off the wall, and uh, I'm a pretty decent rescuer, but my training, uh, my tra I defer to you definitely with training in a, in a heartbeat. But uh, anyway, long story short, um, his fate was so amazing because uh, anyone looking at him would have said, what is the purpose for him on earth? He's just out of his mind, you mm -hmm. know? And um, at the time, a woman was uh, volunteering to pay for some training for him. The trainers were so amazed at this dog that they said, could we adopt him from you? I said, definitely. And uh, he went on to win every dog competition that they had entered him in to a point where somebody uh, offered a substantial, huge amount of money to actually, um, you know, uh, purchase him a donation to, mm -hmm. to take uh, to take count and live with him. And so what a success story. So those are the things that night when I close my eyes and say, you know, how, how can people be so vindictive and come at you for doing something good? I think of count and baby pumpkin and mm. long ways and so many others of mine throughout the years. But, but God is good and he's a vindicating God and uh, we just, you know, we wait on him. Yeah. And, and you mentioned about starting over, you know, and yeah. uh, I think this is great because people need to understand that you know, anything that's out there about you, you know, today with technology and the internet, there's misinformation, things get misconstrued, there's uh, negative bias, uh, and, and it's great to, for people to meet you, and although it's through the camera, they get to meet you firsthand. Yeah. Because your energy, you know, your energy, and I keep saying that your energy is so loving, and you are such a good soul, okay? And, and I, I think people will realize, and, and, and hopefully they see this segment and they realize how much you've done for people, animals, uh, the community, okay? And, you know, it, it's what I, I'll tell you what I love about you is you are so inspiring 
because I, and I read a lot of books, a lot of spiritual books and uh, self-help and positive motivation stuff. And it's not about how many times you get knocked down. <laughs> you know, it's about how many times you get up. And you know, you you inspire. You know, you inspired me. And uh, you know, we we've, we've known each other a while now. You know, I've been doing Pitbull Rescue privately for ten years now. Well, you're one of the reasons why I now started my own Pitbull Rescue. Oh. You know, Pity Rescue Inc is, you know, you're one of the reasons because oh, you are so inspiring. Beautiful. Wow, Jeff. You know, and well, uh, I think, uh, God bless you, I think you give far too much credit, but uh, because, I mean, really, um, you, you know, the things that people don't know about you and not to embarrass you, but to give you um, your specs on it, you know, you've been tossing food from your beautiful shop to, uh, to me and so many other people for animals that don't have enough food. And also, too, um, um, Jeff, it would be good probably if you could share the fact that um, a lot of times dog behavioral problems are because of the food. It's that simple. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can, we can, have, we can have 18 shows on how, you know, health yeah. and nutrition impact behavior. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, I think the two key factors with, with dog behavior in general, obviously, is, is their health their mental and physical health, uh, but more importantly, uh, you know, the owner, you know, the, mm -hmm. the plight of the pit bull, mm -hmm. it, it's all about the owner, yeah. you know, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, there's, like you said, there's 99.9% .9 wonderful dogs out there, okay, uh, we have more dog ownership problems than we do anything else, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that falls back to, to education, and uh, that's, you know, people, you know, both of us, we try to educate people uh, you know, we just happen to love pit bulls because, you know, they're the most wonderful breed on the planet. <laughs> you know, wink to the audience. <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, a lot of breeds suffer behavioral problems because uh, people are, are, well, they're not treating dogs like, like, like they need to be treated, you know. And, uh, you know, Especially it's, breeding, I mean, ad infinitum, particularly oh, in areas sure. that, uh, you know, they're a commodity, commodity to be bought and sold. And, uh, exactly. Whew, yeah. Gosh, and the shelters just you know, with the overpopulation of the pit bulls. So that's another reason I think too that here we, you know, we have this love for this animal that is so incredibly loyal yeah. and uh, exploited. Incredibly loyal and incredibly exploited. Mm, yeah, and I, it, I, I'm glad you brought up shelters because, you know, if, and, and this is more of a, 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 an out, a community outreach segment on, on the work you've done for people and animals, but we spent some time on probably half the show talking about animals and you know for those that are out the people that are out there that want to adopt and it's it's not just dogs there's there's dogs there's cats there's birds uh, there's lizards there's guinea pigs there's rats there's mice there's all sorts of animals up for adoption you know and uh, I mean you know I own a pet store but I always tell people adopt an animal before you buy one what's the name of that pet store <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah on, well it on. is paradise pet in bloomfield paradise pet in bloomfield but oh, uh, you know i i i always encourage people to adopt you know there are so many animals out there that need homes mm -hmm. and there's n there's no better look in the world than a dog looking at you when he's walking out of that shelter oh, you Lord. know and yeah. you've seen it with people too you know mm -hmm. uh, you know when when you help someone you know sometimes the thank you is in the look you know, wow, that's the, the put, gratitude yeah. is, is in the look, you know, yeah. um, and, uh, you know, the, tonight uh, we, we talked a lot about, uh, you know, about your journey, about Trinity Retreats, you know, your ability to, to help others. Uh, to help animals, and in closing, you want to offer ten seconds of anything to the oh, audience. Sure, just you know, maybe a final just prayer from uh, old rescuer, mountain woman now, <laughs> slash urban woman. Um, just Heavenly Father, we, we thank you. We thank you uh, for giving us life and for giving us the ability to um, reach out to others. Help us refine and perfect our role as servant because actually you are our example. Teach us obedience and help us to perfect our love. In Jesus' name, we ask you this. Amen. Wow, well put, well put. And to the audience out there, once again, thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, we hope we brought some insight into, uh, well, in a nutshell, to be useful, you know, to help others. Uh, and, and that is all-inclusive. It's not just about helping the people you know. You'd be surprised. You know, it's a, a smile to a stranger on the street. I'll tell you what, they might look at you funny, <laughs> okay? Uh, but you will brighten their day, you know? And uh, I definitely think uh, we all could take a little bit of a uh, little piece of main here and make this world a brighter place. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for joining and have a great night.